Hey guys, welcome to Define Agile. This is Anatoly here. We're talking everything Agile and Agile tools. And today I'm going to show you how to update your story points. So let's say you estimated, you put a story point and then you're like, nah, that's much harder than I thought. So I really need to update it. It's not recommended once you have your story points added, it's better not to update them. Then just make sure that in future you are uh, going to estimate better. But in case you made a mistake or an error and you need to update it, I'm going to show you how to do that. Before I do, there are three things I want to tell you. Thing number one, if you guys want to learn Jira very quickly from beginner to advanced in about one day, go to the description of this video, find the link to my course, get a course, and you'll be able to learn Jira very, very fast. The second thing is if you are stuck and you have some complicated use cases or you want somebody to walk you through things, go to the first comment of this video. Uh, there's a calendar link. You can book yourself in a calendar of me or, or my amazing Jira admins who will help you with any Jira issues that you have. And the last thing is if you're a big company that is looking for agile transformation, Jira maintenance, Jira migration, everything of that sort, please go to defineagile.com, click contact us, and me and my team will help you and guide you through. So now let's talk about how to update your story points. Here's the active sprint. It works the same way on a backlog, so it doesn't really matter. This is my Jira project, Scrum project. I have a couple stories. This story has two story points. I click on it. And now let's take a couple of use cases. Let's say I see the story points here, but you don't see it. There's no story points field. What to do? First thing, I'll look uh, more fields and I'll try to see here. Is it there? No. Then I would click on the configure button. And I'll go all the way down for hidden when empty. And I will put, I'll drag and drop it. Let's say you find the story points. I'll drag and drop it to context fields. That might help. If that doesn't help, let's go back. I'll show you another trick. You go again. You click on the three dots in your story and you click on Find your field, and then you type your field, story points, say story points. They will show you where it is or why it is not there. So there's sometimes you might make a mistake in your screens and you will not see them. But usually by default, if you're using Jira Cloud, your stories will have story points. Tasks might not have story points. So you usually estimate stories, you do not estimate tasks. Now the last use case, you go here, I can click on it and I can change it to, let's say, five because it's more, much more complicated. It's done for me. But you're looking at it and your field is disabled. It's read-only. You can't do anything about it. Why is that? Well, most cases it is because you don't have correct permissions. What you have to do is you have to talk to your Jira administrator and tell them that there's some issue that you can't update story points. You don't have the correct permissions. And they will solve it and you'll be fine. Hope it brings you value. If it does, please like and subscribe because we are pushing so many of those videos this year. It will blow your mind with Jira Contact. We want to make sure that everyone who watches the channel is a Jira Pro very, very soon. And again, thank you for watching. I really appreciate you. Any questions to the comments, I'll read them all and I try to reply as many as possible. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.